Now we are going to look at Anderson Set 4 Prelim 2021 Paper 1 Question 3A. Solve 7 cos theta over 2 equals to 10 sine theta for 0 to 2 pi. Okay, before we start, let's observe this one. Okay, look at the angle here. They are different. This is theta, this is theta over 2. So we'll start by using a double angle formula. Now notice that although we call it double angle formula, it actually can apply to any angle because, let me just write you what people are familiar with, sine 2 theta equals to 2 sine theta cos theta, okay? Everybody are very familiar with this one, okay? I need to change this instead, okay? So notice that the change is this angle become this angle. This is half of this, okay? So we actually half the angle, right? So same thing, if you are change this theta, using this formula, it's going to be sine theta over 2 cos theta over 2. Notice that we're just halving whatever angle we have here. So which means this one can apply to anything that you want to do. It's not just 2 theta and theta. It can be what? 3 theta, 4 theta, 5 theta, even like weird things like 7.6 theta. Just saying, okay? So, we're going to apply this one to that question over there. Okay? Changing sine theta to Okay? Looks good. I'm going to do expansion over here. So, we get 20 Okay, so we look at this. A lot of people, they feel very happy because they see cos theta over 2, cos theta over 2, what they do next step will be, hey, let's divide cos theta over 2. Well, you've got to be very careful in this step. Okay, so because what you are doing is you are dividing by cos theta over 2. Okay. I just want to give you a warning because in math, we don't always be able to divide, especially if it's not a number. We do not know whether this can be zero or not. In this case, which is possible, okay? So just to explain to you, this is very, very common mistake in students, okay? So don't do that. So then what can we do to, uh, to solve this question? I'm going to erase the wrong thing here. I'm just telling you to be careful. So if I can't divide cos theta over 2, I'm going to solve it because this one looks very easy and everybody can solve this, correct? So if I do not divide by cos theta over 2, the method will be moving things to one side and do a factorization, okay? Look here. So the common term will be this one. Okay? Then, we know that two things multiply, but it will be zero. So we have two solutions here. Right? Solution number one and solution number two. Okay, I'm going to further do this step here. And we'll reach sine theta over 2 equals to 7 over 20 here. Okay, now, what I like to do is I like to reject my answer earlier or restrict my answer earlier because we all know that cos and sine graph will go on forever if you don't restrict your answer, right? Because the graph goes forever, you have many solutions. So if you look at the question, they give you this restriction, okay, of the domain from 0 to 2 pi. Okay, now, I usually like to look at this angle here is theta over 2. I will reject at this step instead of the next step, okay? So some people actually, they reject at the last step, only they refer to this, but I didn't do it earlier, right? So let's just adjust this to theta over 2. So I'm dividing 2, left, right, 2. So this one still maintains zero, but this one will be high, okay? So this one is very important. I'm going to check 
and reject earlier at this step already. Okay, the next step I'm going to take. Okay, so just maybe we look at this one first. For equals to zero, I like to use graph. Okay, but basically that's up to you too. I'm just going to use one method. So if I know that cost graph looks like this, the zero position, okay, one full cost graph here, since they are using here radian, so the end of the graph should be two pi. Okay, and half the graph at this minimum position, this point here, is pi. And I need zero, correct? So it will be half of, this point will be half of pi, okay? Or pi over two. All right, so next I'll write t tau over two will be equals to pi over two. Now notice that pi over two is within the range that I want. The next point here will be exceeding pi, okay? Exceeding pi is the answer that I do not want, this point over here. So I don't want to write it already, okay? So if you write it and you go on further to check the last step, you are still going to reject it using this one, okay? So we want to reject as early as possible to save some time, all right? So next step, theta must be equals to pi. Now looks, okay? So this one is still in the range, okay, according to this one. So now we have solved this first solution here. Let's take a look at this one, okay? Find theta um, over 2 equals 7 or 20. I'm going to write it here. Okay. Theta over 2 equals to sine inverse of 7 over 20. Okay? Now, let's take a look at our ASTC. Now, since I already write this one, okay? I will reach until pi answer only. I do not want to take this two. Okay, let's just do that. And anyway, this one will also lead you to what? Sine, and we're taking positive, right? So A and S quadrant. So we're going to check what is the sine inverse of positive 720 at this position, okay? Which I have uh, checked the answer over here. We will get 0 0.35757 and so on, okay? And this position, to get this value, we're going to use pi minus 0 0.35757, okay? So I'm going to write the answer over here. The first answer, and the second answer, you will get, okay, remember to write more than three significant figures, okay? As many as possible. If you write more than three, that's fine, okay? So do not write too early to three single figures, okay? We still have next step to do, where we need to multiply these two answers by two to get theta, okay? So theta answer, so since you know this is last step, so this one can be in three single figures. This one will be, okay? So final answer will have pi, we'll have this one, and we'll have this one. Okay, now, there's a more accurate way to write if you do not want to write decimal, but I will not cover in this video, okay? So I just want to keep it simple for people who can't see the more complicated way of writing things. So I just make it easier, you see in decimal, okay, which you get from calculator. Go next step, go next step, okay? So we're purely solving it in a very, very simple manner, okay? So if you'd like to know why I reject at theta over two steps, I actually have a story about it, okay? But I do not want to cover it in this video as well, so I just want to keep it short and simple, right?